All right, so one of the most, if not the most common reasons why students say that they don't work out in school is because they're too busy. Now, if you happen to find yourself in this situation, you need to watch this video because today I'm sharing a critical piece of information that's gonna take care of all that for you once and for all. Like, seriously, it's a game changer. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Hey, I hope you're all doing well. If you haven't met me before, my name's Jim. I'm a physical therapist and on this channel, I'm posting all sorts of content to help the general public move better, feel better, live stronger lives, and to help PT students crush their studies and become exemplary practitioners. Now, if that sounds cool to you in any sort of way, hit that like and subscribe button. All right, today we are talking about that all too common problem of not having enough time to work out in school because you're too busy, you have to study, you have to make all sorts of sacrifices with other parts of your daily regimens in order to get that studying accomplished. Now, this is something that I myself am too familiar with, both from just back to high school, to undergraduate studies, to graduate studies. I get it, I know what it's like. And even with someone with myself, being as passionate as I am about working out and staying physically active and moving well, well, I understand how challenging it can be when school is really asking all of your free time to be devoted to studying. Now, that being said, it's important to understand that there is a great way around this and we just have to kind of talk about a couple of concepts and hopefully it's gonna really open your eyes to one critical piece of misinformation that people have when it comes to sacrificing workouts in order to get more studying done. So it goes something like this. When it comes to studying, we study because we need to devote time in order to get the outcomes or the performance that we want for school. Whether it's grades and graduation or whether it's anything else, it takes time and effort that needs to be devoted into learning information, retaining it, memorizing it, spitting it back out on exams, all that good type of stuff. Now, that is the kind of academic realm where you have all those tools and all those ways to memorize knowledge and information, right? You've got textbooks that you that you read, you got flashcards that you study from, you got notes that you rewrite, things that you highlight, all of that. Those are all tools in that formal kind of study session to help you get the performance that you want with memorizing things and all that type of stuff. Now, outside of that world, people tend to see that their workouts and their physical activity regimens and lifestyles are over here. And the challenge is we have these two different worlds that are going on. And so what we always do is we prioritize that grades and studies have to come first and foremost before anything else. Now, the challenge is, is that when you keep these two worlds separate, what you're always gonna do is you are gonna sacrifice all of your other kind of stuff outside of school in order to make sure your formal academic studies and pursuits get taken care of. But here's the thing. We know in the literature, we've studied this for decades and decades with adolescents and young kids and even adults in college, we know that those who are physically active and those that pursue regular physical activity as part of their lifestyle do better in school with their academic performance, with their graduation rates. People who move more frequently and who are physically active retain information better. They tend to even learn it a little bit quicker and so with all that being said, we need to ask ourselves, why are we keeping working out as something over here when we're not looking at it as an actual piece of the puzzle that we need to actually bring into the academic performance realm? So what do I mean by all of this exactly? Well, what I'm trying to say here is that if you can get in the mindset of understanding that physical activity and working out is actually a component of your formal studies itself, that's gonna really kind of change your outlook on why it's important to do your working out and make sure that it is actually done on a regular basis. So we know working out is important in general, we get that, but we sacrifice it anyways because we're not considering it part of the overall process that can help us learn information better, help us to retain information, learn it quicker, get that kind of academic performance to where we want it to be. And that's a critical mistake that we make when we leave working out as something that is not part of the actual academic study process. Now that sounds like this crazy concept, I know, I get it, we're just not used to thinking of it on that term, but really, if you take a moment to look at the literature, and I'll put some of the links below, it's just the tip of the iceberg, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of it, but if you can wrap your mind around the fact that formal studying could actually be considered working out, 
If you can do that, not only is that gonna keep you regularly physically active, gives you your physical benefits and your emotional benefits, stress relief, all that type of stuff, but it's going to give you that kind of intellectual benefit as well when it comes to you retaining information and becoming the student that you want to be in terms of your grades and your performance, your concentration, your memory recall, all that good type of stuff. So I know that that's a bit of a passionate rant perhaps, but I'm just doing it all because, hey, I'm passionate about movement, but I'm passionate about you if you're a student getting the academic performance that you're looking for and keeping yourself physically healthy, emotionally healthy, intellectually healthy as you go through your academic pursuits. So take some time to ask yourself if you've been kind of keeping those two worlds separate, the academic world and the actual just kind of physical workout realm that lives over here that you're not considering part of the academic study process in and of itself. So take those two worlds and see if you can start to bring them together some way, somehow. Maybe if you're studying for 90 minutes a day as part of your formal study sessions, you say, hey, I'm gonna study for 70 minutes in terms of my normal studies I do, but I'm gonna leave 20 minutes for physical activity, for movement, whether it's an actual workout or whether it's just easy movement that just makes you feel good, consider part of that your formal study sessions because it will make you a better student. All right, that is enough from me. I'm sure that you get the point by now. If I can't make the point in five minutes, then I probably can't make it in 10 minutes either. But I'm hoping that that's kind of just opened your mind a little bit, kind of opened your eyes to help you understand that that world of working out really needs to become part of the actual academic study process in and of itself to help you become a student who gets the grades they want and the performance outcomes that they're after. So everyone, keep taking good care of yourselves. I hope you're all doing well. Keep looking after one another. Keep looking after yourselves. Keep making great things happen. And I'll see you in the next video.